I've been playing the trumpet for a number of years now and through my search and my work in the practice room to try to develop uh, my skills to the best level that I can develop them to, I've come across a number of trumpet routines or just ideas and ways of practicing that I think can be really beneficial and I've seen a lot of uh, benefit in my own practicing life. One of the problems that I've experienced with doing routines that other people have made or just experimenting with different practice philosophies and ideologies is that when I do the work and I'm going through it, because I haven't decided why I'm doing it, I don't always know what the purpose of the work is. Through the gold method, we set our own goals and we find exercises that help us develop those skills so we know why we are doing everything. But when I'm doing somebody else's routine, sometimes I can get into the habit of just playing the routine and not necessarily thinking about why I'm doing it. I wanted to make this video to share with you some ideas I have about what the purpose of a routine is, what the purpose of our practice is. So we get into the practice room, we know we need to practice, but this will help us sort of uh, pick at why we might be doing that work to help us get the most amount of value and benefit out of it that we can. The way that I understand it, there are two reasons that we do work in the practice room. The first is that we are trying to ingrain or imprint exactly what we know we need to do into our playing. I would say this is a really ideal way of doing things because it implies that we know what's going on. We've solved many problems in our playing and we are just trying to figure out how we can establish it as habit or routine in the way that we perform on our instrument. The goal of this kind of work is to be able to say, I have found these solutions, I know what I need to do, I just need to do work in the practice room that's going to transfer it from my conscious thought to my subconscious mind so that I can have greater access to these skills and abilities with less thought overall. The other reason that we would do work in the practice room is that we have not quite figured out what it is that we need to do in the practice room. And so we are exploring and trying to find solutions to the problems we are experiencing so that when we find those solutions, we move into the first reason we do work and we're trying to ingrain it and move that uh, skill into our subconscious mind. When you're exploring in your practice sessions, this might be a little bit less formulaic than what you might do when trying to imprint things. You're trying to have the mental model in your head be the guide. You know what it needs to sound like, you just need to figure out how to connect what you're doing to get that desired sound to come out of your instrument. Ultimately, in this step, you're just looking for information. You're not necessarily trying to decide if you can or can't do something. You're just seeking the solution to the problem that you are having. And it's important to talk about it this way because when you say, I am seeking a solution for X problem, what you're saying is there is a solution and I will find it, I just haven't found it yet. I think that's a different mental space to be in than I can't do this because I haven't figured it out. As I said before, to me, there are two reasons that we would work in the practice room. Again, to imprint exactly what we know we need to do or to search for solutions for the things we are struggling with. Now, I know that there are more than two things that can happen in the practice room, so focusing on these two will help keep us out of negative self-talk. It'll help keep us out of negative judgment on what we can or can't do based on how things are going. It'll help keep us out of aimless, playing where we're just going through the motions of practicing but not actually getting things done. I hope that the discussion of these two ideas on why we would do the work will help you orient the work you're doing in the practice room. You can decide, is this thing I'm working on something I already know and I'm trying to imprint or ingrain it? Or is this something I'm struggling with and I'm searching for a solution to this problem? Being able to talk to yourself in this way, I hope will give you the tools that you need to overcome some of these struggles and start having really disciplined, very efficient and effective work in the practice room. All right, everybody, that's gonna be all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more content that's produced on this channel. If you have any questions about what we talked about or you wanna know how this looks in a structure, uh, I would love the opportunity to chat with you. I'll leave a link down below where you can sign up for a free 30 minute call where we can talk about your practice, what you're struggling with, and if you wanna become a client so you can learn my way of practice as applied to you, we can talk about that too. Thanks so much for watching the video. Always remember, stay strong, be kind to yourself, never stop growing, and we'll see you in the next video.